you've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now, getting the nod on the mound, Shohei Otani. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Okay, all set to go. Luis Arise stands in. And the pitch. Fastball in for a strike. And this one is off and running. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And the 0 1. That one missed. Out towards right center field. He's got it. And there's one down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Tatis waits. Just missed. It's a good take. Makes the sliding stop. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. Just so impressed with the movement on that play. Footwork was excellent. The arm strength was there. And of course, the most important part was getting the out. Two outs, space is empty. Jerickson Profar will hit next. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Two down, nobody on. Swings and misses. And it's a ball to strike. It's looking pretty sharp to start the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Runner at first with two away. Here's Manny Machado now. Swing and a miss. Going one. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Comes up empty. Oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Got it by him for the K. Padres leave one, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy. Today's starting pitcher, Hugh Darvish. 
Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Bottom of the first. Now it's the right fielder, Mookie Betts. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Right-hander kicks deals. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Betts can claim something not many players can. He's won the World Series playing in the National League and the American League. One and two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The one two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. That one not close. 1 and 0. Oh. Darvish, multi time all star. He features a sinker, a slur, a slider, a four seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, right side. Bogarts with the throw to first. Two up, two down. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs, space is empty. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. That one fouled off. Two outs on the ground and it goes just foul right into the plate swing and a miss struck him out and the Dodgers are set down in order Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. We played an inning. No score. Back here in L.A., second inning set to go. And now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Otani back to work. That catches the outside corner. 0-1. Cronenworth... A seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan where he was a two way guy. And in fact the Rays used him that way. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike 0 2 count. Instead it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Hard hit left side. Throw on to Freeman. One up one down. Here's Xander Bogarts. Bogarts, a former All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was born in Aruba. That clips the corner.
Next offering misses down and away. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Next offering is down low. Second inning here, no score. And it's even up. <laughs> Headed down the line. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And now Jackson Merrill. First offering, and it just misses. Pulls that one foul. In the air, left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning, and now it's Gavin Lux. The second baseman, Gavin Lux. And a pitch. There's a strike. On the ground to the left. Throws the first in time, and quickly one away in the second. The batter now will be Will Smith. In there for strike one. That one down the line and foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him. Allowing some balls in play as well. Here's Muncy to hit. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Higashioka sizes this one up and makes the play, and that's out number three. Dodgers down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. The right-hander back to work. Outside. Ball one.
right through there for a strike. On the ground, out to short. And one away in the top of the third. Next for the Padres, Mason McCoy. Just missed. And a foul ball. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Back to the top of the lineup. So here's the Padres DH, Luis Arias. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Pitch misses, and the count is one and two. Otani, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. On the ground, right side. Throws the first in time. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr., He's 0 for 1. Swing and a foul straight back. That's in there. 0 and 2 now. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. And now one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. And he chases that one. That ends the frame. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. We head down to the home half of inning number three. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Chris Taylor now. The wide to kick the pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw over to Cronenworth. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting eight. The shortstop. Miguel. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. 
Ball one there. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Ground ball up the middle. Bogarts throws to first, and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And here comes Tommy Edmond. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Two down, nobody on. That's a little bit low. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. And the right hater deals. And another ball. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Two outs. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And the righty deals. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Dodgers go down quietly. Still no score. And we're back. And here is Jerickson Profar. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Yeah, the right hander back to work. A little bit high. And that's ball one. Just missed. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Righty delivers. Swings through that one for strike two. And it's caught for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Here's Manny Machado. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. First pitch just misses. Fourth inning underway, no score. Fought off foul. Ground ball, left side, and that's a fair ball. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. There's the strike. And that one fouled off. Machado leads off first with one away. That's down and in. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch.
at the belt and fires in the dirt nice job behind the plate there all tied up top half of inning number four and that's just foul got him swinging well, a well-thrown splitter is going to do exactly that. Get you off balance thinking it's a fastball. Very similar to a changeup, but oftentimes a split's going to have even more downward movement with more velocity. Good pitch. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one ripped. That's back there. Get out of town. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2 nothing. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field, into the gap, Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. Fly to left his first time. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Stepping in for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. Otani checks over to first, and he's back. There's the strike. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Next pitch misses way outside. Swings over the splitter for strike three. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom four, here's Mookie Betts now. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Bounced up the middle. McCoy. The throw to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Grounded out his first time up. That's inside, and it's 1-0. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. you got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. Next pitch is downstairs. And a good eye there. The Dodgers trailing by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive.
Out to short, McCoy. Tosses to first, and Freeman is retired. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now Teoscar Hernandez struck out swinging his first time. Ball one, no strikes. And downstairs. 2 0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. And there's a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Three two on the way. Caught him looking for the K. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail it here 2 0. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mason McCoy. And he deals. McCoy, 29 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2017. And he'll one. The shortstop takes a ball. Fly ball down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Arias. Outside low, ball one. Late on that fastball. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field, and it falls. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And the 1 0. There goes the runner. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He goes down looking. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerickson pro far. One for two. Right through there for a strike. Arise off of first with two away. Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Nice. 
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the third out. One left for San Diego, but they hold the 2-0 lead. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Gavin Lux. The pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Merrill makes the catch, and there's one down. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet, and it just is one of those bad luck ABs. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one's in there. Strike one. The Dodgers yet to pick up a hit here. On the ground right side. Bogarts with the throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. Max Muncy at the dish. First time up was a pop out. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Sliced hard, but foul. And a pitch. That missed by a lot. And a count one and two. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Here comes Chris Taylor. Boom, that wasn't even close. You know, sometimes a guy will barely miss the zone and hit someone, but right there, he completely lost the handle, and that's when it gets a little scary. Wouldn't chase that time. The one one is fouled off. pitch popped up Bogarts under this one and puts the squeeze on that one and the inning is over one left for LA they're still down it's two zip back here in LA and now it's Manny Machado Otani back to work. And there's a ball. And that's in for a strike. Just off the inside edge. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Bounce to the right. Lux gathers and throws to first. Machado out of the play. The first baseman, number nine, Jake Cronenworth. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. That one finds the corner, and it's 0-1. Hard ground ball base knock. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way.
And here comes Xander Bogarts. His homer earlier is responsible for the only runs they've scored in this one. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball so far in this one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Brewstar Grotterol up and throwing. Phillips getting loose as well. The pitch. That one ripped, but foul. And that's off the inside edge. And a count two and one. Cronenworth stands at first with one out. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Otani will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Brewstar Grotterol. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Stepping in for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. And a foul ball. Two on, one out. And that one cutting but missing down low. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and two. Right-handed reliever. And another ball. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. A gigantic blast, and they add to their lead. It's five zip. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Base is empty one away. Kyle Higashioka, the next to hit. And a swing and a miss. Next offering is in for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Slider misses outside. One down, base is empty. That misses, and the count is two and two. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches, 
to even that count up at two balls and two strikes but that time chased outside the zone. So up next Mason McCoy. That's off the mark one and oh. And a big swing and a miss. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Next pitch is outside. Good eye right there. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. So a three run shot for the Padres here. And the lead is now 5 nothing. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Well, we go bottom six. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. The pitch. Center field. Merrill settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter, the center field. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Caught looking his first time up. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. The Padres leading by five here in the bottom of the sixth. He swings and fouls one off. The wind and the pitch. And that one hammered. That's back. And out of here. He made him pay for that one. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 5-1. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that, and they're back in business. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. Mookie Betts now made his debut with the Red Sox in 2014 and actually hit home run against the Dodgers in 2016. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mookie is fantastic for baseball. A great player, big personality. He's played for some of the most popular teams in the league. Two outs, space is empty. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one missed. hit and that extends the inning just so sound in his mechanics hits against a firm front side and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field so man aboard and the batter now Teoscar Hernandez that one finds the zone going one Freeman off of first with two away. And that one fouled off.
Next offering way off the plate. Two outs. That one just misses. That's inside. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. On the ground, and it goes just foul. Stays alive. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. The Dodgers do get one back on the solo home run. It's now a 5 1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Michael Grove. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number 29. Michael Grove. So now here's the DH. Luis Arias. One for three. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. And that one sliced foul. And down on strikes. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Missed with a changeup, and it's one and one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Right side, hard hit. Lux throws the first in time. And two away to start the seventh. The left field, ten. Jerickson, two outs, base is empty. Jerickson Profar, the next up for the Padres. Line drive, and a base hit. And that gives Manny Machado a chance to hit with two outs. Here's Machado. That one fouled off. The pitch. And that's down it away. Two outs. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Could be extra bases. Coming home. He'll score easily. It's 6-1. 
Back to back base hits. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. And it's scored position with two away. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. First pitch misses. Man, it's second. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. There's a swing and a drive. And it hits the fence. The run comes in to score from second, and it's now a six-run lead. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Put a great swing on that pitch to deep center field, and we knew it was going to be close, but just not quite enough. And I'm sure a few of his teammates might be yelling weight room at him right now, but he should definitely feel good about that one. Man, it's second here with two away. So digging in now for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and that is that. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Padres seven, and the Dodgers one. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Gavin Lux. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second in plenty of time to first, one up, one down. The bat, the catcher. And now the catcher comes up to hit, Will Smith. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Jeremiah Estrada up and loosening in the pen. Morahone also getting ready. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Got all of that one. That'll fire up the dugout, and they're chipping away. It's 7 2. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here comes Max Muncy. He's 0 for 1. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Garrett Richards, a guy who was originally a first round pick of the Angels out of the University of Oklahoma. One down, base is empty. And that's a strike. That one in the dirt, and that's ball two. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. One down. Here comes Chris Taylor. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Muncy, the runner at second with one away. And a swing and a miss. That missed inside. Two and one. Hit hard. That gets through. Around third. The throw in. It's offline. The run comes in. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. And that's in the dirt. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. And there's two down. Now batting center fielder Tommy Edmund. Tommy Edmund steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's already homered here in this one. That's in there. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Coming on pro far. He's there. He's got it. And they get Edmund for the out. And that will end the inning. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Padres seven and the Dodgers three. New inning getting started. And now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Grove back to work. Grove in his second season, 27 years old. He's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in West Virginia. And the pitch. That one missing inside. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Next to hit, Kyle Higashioka. Kicks and deals. Late with the swing there. Well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Got him looking. And now one away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Mason McCoy digs in now. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Gets the outside corner with that one. Man at first one away.
Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Arise. Jumps out of the way of ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. And safe. It's a stolen base. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Homered earlier. Now he swipes second. Showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. Two outs and one in scoring position. That one's in there. It's two and two. Tough call right there to even the count. Such a big difference between 3-1 and 2-2 in terms of how the odds shift for the at-bat. Slider misses outside. Fernando Tatis Jr. waits on deck. Three and two now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Padres leave one, but they still lead it 7 3. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jeremiah Estrada. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So the batting order turns over. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. The pitch. And there's the strike. Just missed. And the righty deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Kicks and fires. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. Just missed. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now batting. No left fielder. Day Oscar. Hernandez. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. Swing and a miss. Bullpen action for the Padres. Number one, the left-hander, up and throwing. Betts leads off second with one gone in the inning. Next offering is downstairs. Hey. 
right through there for a strike. Man at second. Good job to fight that one off. The one two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Nice doubled up with the slider for that punch out the one before just caught the zone so as a hitter you have to protect right there great pitch to just expand a little bit more he got that chase he was looking for that right there is good pitching. Lux stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Just off the outside edge, and it's 2 and 0. Runner at second, two down. That one misses, and that's ball three. Will Smith waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Right hander kicks, deals. There's a strike. That smash towards center. And that's a base hit. The throw into second. The tag out. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. But they push across one run on two hits. No errors and no one left. Through eight full, it's the Padres seven and the Dodgers four. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Evan Phillips. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. 0 for 4, two strikeouts and two groundouts. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Profar stands in now, looks at that one inside. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. And a good eye there. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Lake Trinan appears to be getting loose. Brazier warming up as well. Runner at first with no outs here. And it's fouled away. Righty delivers and another ball. Hit in the air, left field. Hernandez settles underneath it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. The third base, number 13, Manny Machado. Now Machado up here. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. At the belt and fires. In the air right field. Betts on the move. He's got it. And there's two away. Now battle. The first baseman. Jake Cronenworth. Man at first. Jake Cronenworth. The next up for the Padres. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Just missed. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. 
That's in there. Strike one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Next pitch in for a strike. One and two. Nothing but curveball so far in the at bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if it hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One hit, one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Padres seven and the Dodgers four. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Robert Suarez. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. Foul ball. And he deals. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing. And the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. And the right hater deals. Fought off foul. The 0 2. Fights it off, you'll see another. Ball one there. The Dodgers trailing by three here in the last half of inning number nine. And another ball. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Rounds third headed for the plate. He scores and now just a two run deficit. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Next is the designated hitter, Chris Taylor. That one to first, down the line, and it's foul. Swings and misses. And it's nothing in two. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never... Swing and a miss struck him out. One away. He's two outs away. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. Swing and a chopper. Off balance feed. There's one. That's a double play. The ball game is over. Way to make a pitch right there. Get that ball on the ground. Defense picking them up. Huge double play to end this ball game. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious San Diego Padres, seven runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left seven runners on base. For the Dodgers, five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 24 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout. 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.